Hey people, welcome to another video. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Journey. People, this is one of the reasons why I currently live in my van down here in Montgomery, Alabama. Now, in one of my earlier videos, I was briefly discussing a lot of these investors who had houses for sale on owner finance. And this is one of those houses for sale by one of those disgusting scumbag investors that want to charge double and triple the market value price for a house that quite frankly is a piece of junk. Now I'm not gonna give you guys the information of the person. I'm not giving no phone numbers or none of that stuff out. I will say for this particular house, that this is in Montgomery, Alabama on Texas Avenue now the market price for this house assuming that it's put together and moving condition ready is in the low 20s now these people are asking 25 for this house as it stands i believe i believe it's around 25 and as you see this house is not in moving condition i can tell this house is not moving ready like if you come and look on the side you see that the meter box is missing which means the electric has been off for longer than six months which means for this house it's going to need to be rewired which as i said on my on one of my other videos every wiring job for a house of this size is going to be at least seven thousand dollars so let's take a walk around this beauty Oh, the foundation here, at least, the foundation seems to be okay. Well, this foundation ain't bad. I'm sorry about that, I'm chipping over limbs here. You gotta, you know, like many houses here in Montgomery, you do have a decent sized lot. Many lots here in Montgomery are going to be at, are going to be an average of two tenths of an acre for many of the houses here in this city limits. Here's a quick look of the surrounding area from this angle. I mean the area is it's okay. It's not the greatest. I mean you've got a nice oversized garage or storage building or whatever you want to call it all right here's the house again it's all boarded up so people don't squat now if you look a little closer at the bottom here you can see you can see all the rotted out wood Now my guess Now my now you can tell by this wood that this house has got significant termite damage. So this house is termite infested. Here's the damage. Here's more damage. I mean I can even smell it. I could even smell it. I mean, here's the foundation back here. I mean, back here, the foundation is in trouble. The wood of the house is in trouble. It's got heavy termite damage. I mean, here's more termite damage right here. Like you look in this backyard, you've got a whole ton of dead limbs. You got a whole ton of limbs that's sitting in this yard. And given the humidity, the humidity that's here in Alabama, 
I mean, you got limbs sitting like this, so close to the house. I mean, you got limbs up on the roof. So, I mean, you got all these limbs sitting around like this. It, cause, it can cause termites to go into your house. Now, I mean, this house has got heavy termite damage, as I illustrated a minute ago. Here's what the back of the house looks like. See, people, this is the reason why I will not buy a house through these scumbag investors, because these scumbag investors are going to screw you over worldly if you allow them to. And I don't do credit cards. I don't do car notes or any of that crap. So, and I filed bankruptcy back in 09. So my credit, my credit is not all that great because I don't use my credit. Every, like my house I have in Indiana, I own it free and clear. I brought it in paid cash. Back when I used to work the oil rig in North Dakota. I came back home a couple of years ago, brought the house and paid cash. I don't do car payments, I don't do credit cards. So my credit score is not all that great, to say the least. Here's a nice little, like I said, I don't know if this is a garage or an outbuilding or what. Let me take a peek here. Yeah, this looks like a guest house of some, this looks like a guest house of some sort honestly honestly I would put my bet more on this guest house being something worthy of fixing up than I would on the main house I don't see no significant damage on this guest house but the main house is infested with termites I would put my bet on fixing up this guest house before messing with the main house. And I'm not trying to stumble into this other person's yard. It's kind of what the side of this house looks like. Now, of course, on this house, just like, now, of course, on this house, you can, some, if you buy, but like I said, if they were to sell this land for maybe, I don't know, two or three thousand dollars, I would tear down the main house. I would keep this little side, I would keep this smaller house, and then I would go ahead and you know, get it rewired, get some plumbing put in, do all that good stuff. But the amount of money it's gonna cost to do all that for this particular neighborhood, it's gonna probably be, it's gonna most likely be way more than what the area is gonna be worth. Oh, sorry about that. Here's a little glimpse of the immediate area that this house is surrounded around. Yeah, you got those houses over there, they look all right. That house with the dumpster is vacant and boarded up. There's a house down there if you can y'all if y'all can see it's vacant and boarded up. So yeah, this is just a general area. I don't want to show all that information. Alright people, I'm gonna end this video right here. I just wanted to show you guys one of the reasons why I choose to live in my van.
I don't have to live in my van. I choose to at this point. And this is one of the reasons why. I will see you on a, another video. Have a good one.